Hi, welcome aboard. This webinar is being hosted by University of Hawaii. This is the Ben and Glenn Aquazin Show. What we're here for is to introduce and share with you what a new paradigm in airlifts. What we're showing you is a way of pumping water and lifting water from one level to the other and accomplishing multiple things. First off, using less energy. Number two, air water, aerating the water when we move it. Number three is to move solids to the water that electrical pond pumps couldn't even dream of doing. Number four is to be able to run it long distance. This unit behind me is being run on an air pump that's over 100 feet away. We just have a garden hose running across in the yard. There's no electricity out here. The amazing thing, this is being run by a little 40 watt pump that can be run by one solar panel. So we got efficiency, we got durability, and we don't suffer the wear and tear that the little pumps, the little mechanical pond pumps do when the sand and the gravel from our biofilter beds chew them up. The other thing is we have almost no moving parts in these airlifts. They're also, they're quite easily to build. With nothing more than a battery powered drill and a hacksaw, everything here can be fabricated with off the shelf items from your local hardware store. Now, the air is coming in here, goes down the inch and a half pipe, comes down here, goes inside the holes there, and then it shoots up. Also notice that we can pick up solids with this pump. The other pump didn't pick up solid. This one picks up solids and I can shoot out. I can go quite a bit higher than this, folks. Now notice, this is where the water level is. I'm pumping a good 24 to 30 inches above it. And you can see, I can go a lot higher. In fact, we're going to show you later, I go 25 to 30 feet high. Here we have our fish tank. We like to do anything from 140 to a 200 gallon fish tank, it's very nice. We have it sitting here. We come out of it, out the side, with a two inch pipe. We go to a check valve. Then we go up the 245s, come over here. We inject air here, coming down. The air comes over there, the air burps up, and it burps up into here. And this is our pump, and it will burp up the water like you see there. And this is how we do it on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Now when the water comes up there, a little messy, so we put a collector on it, okay? Right? Now notice also, remember the silencer? If we don't have this on, this can be a little noisy. If I take this off here, you hear a lot of gargling. But if I put this on, we drew the two inch down to the th one inch, and then I set this over, voila, I go quiet. So now the water came up to here, we put it in the three cinder beds, one, two, three. Each one gets its own source of dirty water. Notice we have double trays. Top tray drains to the bottom tray, and there's about a one inch space. These three trays are connected to this bucket. Aloha, Glenn Martinez here with Olamata Gardens and my co-host, Dr. Benny Ron from University of Hawaii. This is the Ben and Glenn Aqua Zen Show for you. What I wanna show you here today is a very special project. This is about the eighth generation of the Aquaport. The aquaport was, came into being because Dr. Benny Ron came to me and said, Glenn, we need a system that is portable that we can take on an airplane and go school to school and be able to show people how an aquaport or, or an aquaponic system is run. So this, as I mentioned, is about the eighth evolution of it. Hi, I'm Glenn of the Ben and Glenn and Aqua Zen Show. We're here to share with you a little bit about these air pumps and air lifts and this is a new paradigm, as they say, in airlift movement. What's different about it, folks, is we're not just bubbling water and letting the air bubbles take it off and displace it. Instead, we're taking air in this green hose. And we use a little pump like this. This is a little HK25LP. That's 25 liters per minute. And it uses 24 watts of power to do that. They run quiet. You can't hear them five feet away. They hum along, they're rated for about 15 years of life, and they only cost about $20 to rebuild them. Quite economical, about the same cost as a good quality water pump, except this is an air pump. I don't have to worry about an air pump running dry. 
it's always dry. We would set it up here on the ledge, we'd always have it above the water. So you want to know how practical can this be? Well, this is a five gallon bucket. Now take this flow ready, on your mark, on your mark, get set, go. What I'm doing here, folks, I use a five gallon bucket and we're going to time how long it takes to fill up. Five gallons is right at this mark here. So we're going to fill this bucket up. We're letting it sink in the water as it's filling up. Getting closer, getting closer. We're two inch away, one inch away. Stop. So what kind of time do I have? Well, we run about 22 seconds. Well, let's say for easy math, it was 20 seconds. If I can do five gallons in 20 seconds, that'd be 15 gallons a minute. 15 gallons a minute times 60 minutes, folks, that's just a little under 900 gallons an hour. Okay? If I can do 900 gallons an hour, that means I can have an aquaponic or an aquaculture system with a 900 gallon tank and know that I'm going to change out that water once an hour. So how practical is it? Well, in the Ben and Glenn and AquaZen shows, if you've been watching our webinars, you've seen us do little pumps with one inch piping. And we've done them in clear to show you how they operate. Okay, folks, here I am, Glenn Martinez with Dr. Benny Ron on the camera. And we're the Ben and Glenn and AquaZen show. And what we're showing you here is we've moved to be in directly underneath the bridge. So here I am, directly underneath, I've got a one inch pipe. The pipe is submerged in the water about a foot. I have a very small submersible pump, rated at only 300 gallons an hour. Hi, Glenn. Here, I'm up from the, down below. I was 20 feet down directly below this point. And I showed you how we had a little submersible pump. Normally, they're a little three to 400 watt pumps. I mean, three to 400 uh, gallon per hour pump. And a three to 400 gallon per hour pump happens by coincidence to pull between 35 to 45 watts. So down on this one happens to be a little 34 watt pump. So if I've got 34 or 35 watts coming up here and I add to it a 60 watt air pump, the 60 watt air pump lifts the weight of the water so the pump can run free and easy. And this is up to a butterfly valve. The one inch pipe is simply cut, two little pieces of plastic are put in there, and I spray the water left and right so it doesn't fall back down my one inch pipe. What we're showing here is 450 gallons an hour coming up, is moved horizontally across the yard to the koi fish pond. This flow is 24 hours a day, and I get this kind of flow from normally about 150 to about 160 watts of electrical power coming off a solar panel. Aloha, this is Glenn Martinez with my co-host, Dr. Benny Ron, and this is the Ben and Glenn AquaZen show. What we're going to show you here today is a little bit of the practical side of 